Hello. These are my beetroot. These are my parsnips. Both were sown as seedlings. The parsnips were germinated indoors on wet tissue and transplanted out as seedlings. The beetroot were germinated indoors in a little bit of soil and then brought out and grown on as seedlings and then when they had only two seed leaves on them I transplanted them out into this raised bed. Okay. Now what I like to do is um, I like to mark the position of where I've sown a seedling so that if I actually do any weeding uh, I don't weed that seedling out. I know exactly what it is. Okay. Molly is standing directly under the tripod. I don't know if he's in the shot. He's having a sniff about in this raised bed. Uh, if you hear a clatter, it's because Molly's not the tripod. She's trying to eat these pea pods. Are you trying to eat those pea pods? Keep off. Okay, so what I've done is, as I say, I like to mark the position with these white pebbles so I know where to expect the seedling to grow on. Um, and with respect to the parsnips, I think I planted, let me just think now, I think I planted 19. We'll have to do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think I planted 19 and I've got 16. Um, so we're happy with that. These won't need any thinning. I think I've planted them at three inch centers. It should be bigger, but I'll take the in, uh, every other one as a, a smaller parsnip. These guys, because I had so many, because the germination was so good, um, I think I planted these at a couple of inches. I can't just recall now. I think they should have been planted at four and I planted them at two because they had so many seedlings with a view to um, taking every other one as a small beetroot. Um, so I, I sowed a row of 19 beetroot seedlings as marked by 19 pebbles and I've just done a quick count uh, and we've got 19 beetroot growing. Now there are two rows here and I suspect there are another 19 or so beetroot grown back here. So I'm really pleased with those. Um, so if you're deciding whether you want to sow seed or whether you want to sow seedlings, this is what I've done this year. These are the beetroot seedlings growing on, as you can see they're looking quite good. And this is the parsnip seedlings and they've all got away except about uh, three I think. Um, so we're happy with that. I would have planted seeds, no doubt or I would have had to plant a lot more than what I've planted. Uh, they would have been later because they wouldn't have germinated as quickly as germinated indoors where it was a bit warmer. Had I sowed the seeds outdoors it would have took them longer to germinate uh, and then I would have to thin them all out because there would be far too many in a row as you know beetroot growing clusters you know there's, there's how many did I say there was there 17 there'd have probably been 37 there had I planted beetroot seeds uh, and quite a lot of those would have had to be thinned out early doors we've got nothing from them just wasted uh, but anyway the choice is yours this is how I prefer to do it start the seeds off indoors, bring them out as very small seedlings, uh, plant them up, mark them so I know where they are um, and clearly at some stage I'll just take these pebbles off the bed and these guys will grow on. Okay so I hope you enjoyed this little um, seeds or seedling video. Uh, this is Homegrown Veg signing out.